The one thing that I'm really looking forward to in Star Wars Episode 9 has all to do with Kylo Ren's endgame and Rey's path in this movie by writer and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. And that's a huge question now, isn't it? Exactly how things are going to end for Kylo Ren and Rey in this film. We do know that these characters will be taken in a totally different direction by J.J. and Chris Terrio, which honestly is a good thing. I am very excited to see a different version of both Kylo Ren and Rey in the final installment of the sequel trilogy. Now, a lot of people have been wondering about this major lightsaber duel to come in this movie. In fact, you know, Kevin Smith a couple of days ago may have hinted about one of the sets being, of course, the largest set that he has ever seen. That could have very well been for the lightsaber duel that is actually going to start filming this month. Now, what's really interesting is that these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the different set designs, the set leaks, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, one of the set designs has all to do with Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver. Specifically, Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver are set to film a sequence in Cardington that is said to be for one of the final scenes in the third act of the film. It is described as the beginning of the big lightsaber duel just after the two will chase each other on speeders. A large bridge set was developed for actors Daisy and Adam to fight on. It is designed to mimic the bridge being placed in between two high cliffs and is said to have a heavy medieval tone to it. Another sequence will involve Rey climbing her way up a cliff with a small tool she has to escape from Kylo Ren as a way to escape from him during this lightsaber duel. It's unclear if Adam will also make the climb for the sequence. Lastly, a scene between Adam and Daisy will involve Daisy and Adam's stunt doubles to perform stunts during the battle in front of a downed ATST. Both Daisy and Adam's characters will be doing backflips and even sprinting and jumping over objects. It's beginning to sound how Anakin and Obi-Wan fought on Moose Mustafar in Revenge of the Sith. So I really want to go over a couple of points here when it comes to this final battle involving both Kylo Ren and Rey. And I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like it's going to lead to something very tragic for either Kylo or Rey in this film. And after all, we do know that this movie is going to have a tragic ending while also being emotionally satisfying. To me, it sounds like it could be that one of these characters just perishes and the other lives on, or maybe they both die like a Romeo Juliet style. We'll have to wait and see. Now, the one thing that really does pique my interest is this bridge set that both Daisy and Adam will be fighting on that is actually designed to make it look like it's actually being hung between two different cliffs on each side. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you think about this, you can really tell the type of cinematography that J.J. Abrams could really kind of tour around with in this movie. You know, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do with this. They could make it during, during like a thunderstorm. They could do it during dusk. They could do it during night. They could really do anything because this is going to be placed in front of a big green screen. So we're not quite sure exactly, you know, what time of the day, like what part of the day this is actually going to be based on. I think it would be better to do this at night with fire surrounding them. That would be pretty cool. But this bridge set, like I say, it does have a medieval tone to it. It really does. You know, I can just imagine that in a movie like Game of Thrones, or should I say a TV show like Game of Thrones. Now, apart from this, what I also want to go over is, of course, briefly about that speeder chase that takes place before this sequence. I don't know if you guys heard about this, I believe it was last week, that apparently Kylo Ren has a brand new speeder in Episode 9 and will be chasing Rey on her speeder on some unknown world. Sounds pretty interesting for sure. The other thing that I do want to go over is how they will have their stunt doubles on set in front of a green screen in which both Kylo's stunt double and of course Rey's stunt double will actually be doing front flips, back flips, uh, jumping over obstacles, sprinting, doing all these crazy things that we saw in Revenge of the Sith between both Anakin and Obi-Wan. And honestly, we do know that J.J. Abrams is really aiming high for this scene, this lightsaber duel. He is really trying to make it one of the best lightsaber duels in the Skywalker saga. And if you ask me, it's going to be very hard to top the one that we saw in Revenge of the Sith. Now, the last thing that I do want to go over 
has all to do with Adam Driver's character Kylo Ren. Now, we also know that they're going to be taking him down a darker path in this movie. Now, Rey climbing up this cliff with a tool of hers, getting away from Kylo Ren. We heard about this lightly about three weeks ago, that there would be a sequence involving Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley climbing up a cliff. Now, Daisy's character, Rey, is actually using a tool to climb up this cliff, trying to escape from Kylo Ren. Now, this to me sounds like this could very well be the moment in time in which it leads to that set piece where they're on the bridge. They could be going up instead of down. So I think that scene is going to be shot out of sequence and shot after or before the bridge sequence for, between both Kylo Ren and Rey. Very interesting stuff for sure, guys. Let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.